Hello friends today I will show you how to create stylish switch button using CSS3 which query for your mobile application. Friends in tutorial I have used CSS3 a pseudo class is used to define a special state of an element. I have used before and after pseudo elements, this helps you to minimize the HTML code. Friends first I have write label tag. Between label tag I have write input type checkbox with name switch and class name equal to checkbox. After checkbox I have defined one division tag with class name equal to switch. Now friends I have set CSS property of switch class. Friends first I have set it width and height of this class with width 200 pixel and height 100 pixel. After set width and height of CSS property now I set background color with gray. Now friends I set Z index property of this class with 0. Friends Z index property specifies the stack order of an element. An element with greater stack order is always in front of an element with a lower stack order. Friends after define stack order with Z index property now friends I have set margin and padding of this class with 0. Now friends I have define appearance property of this class with appearance set to none. The appearance property allows you to make an element look like a standard user interface element. Friends I want remove border of this division for this I have right border set to none and I want to set cursor property to pointer. Now friends I want to set position of this class with relative, with help of this relative position the element is positioned relative to its normal position. Lastly friends I want round corner to this class tag for this I have set border radius equal to 100 pixel. Now friends I have used the before is a pseudo element, insert style content before dom element. So friends I have write switch class with before pseudo element. In this first I have set content property to blank. The content property is used with the before and after pseudo elements to insert generated content. After this I set position of this before element to absolute. The element is positioned relative to its first position dance sister element. Now friends set left CSS property of this class to 5 pixel. For absolutely positioned elements, the left property sets the left edge of an element to a unit to the left right of the left edge of its nearest positioned ancestor. After left position set now friends I want to set top position of element for this I have right top equal to 5 pixel. For absolutely positioned elements. The top property sets the top edge of an element to a unit above below the top edge of its nearest position ancestor. Now friends I want to set width and height of this switch before Pesweedo class. For this I have right width to 190 pixel and height to 90 pixel. After this I have set background color to white and set its Z index to 1. Friends this Suido element will in front of switch class. Lastly under this I want rounded border for this I have right border radius to 95 pixel. Now friends I have moved to set property of switch class with after pseudo class. So I have right switch class with after pseudo element. In this first I have set content property to blank. The content property is used with the before and after pseudo elements, to insert generated content. After this I have set width and height of this after pesado class with width 88 pixel and height to 88 pixel. I want to round at corner for this I have right border radius property to 86 pixel. Now friends I set its Z index property to 2. Friends here its index is 2 that means it will in font of switch class and switch before pseudo class. After this friends I have set its background color to white and set its position to absolute. 
Now friends I have set transition duration property to 500 milliseconds. The transition duration property specifies how many seconds or milliseconds a transition effect takes to complete. Now friends I have set its top and left position of this after suedo class with top to 6 pixel and left to 6 pixels. Lastly I have set box shadow property of the switch class with after suedo class. Now friends I have defined one new class switch on and switch on with before suedo class and set CSS property like background color to green. After this I have write switch on class with after pseudo class and set CSS property like left position of this class to 105 pixels. Now friends I have moved to jQuery code. In this jQuery code I have write code on switch class selector with click jQuery event. Under this code I have write only one line of jQuery code like dollar this selector with toggle class method with one parameter switch on class. So friends this my video on how to create stylish switch button by using CSS3 and jQuery. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.